I am Dave Neary, the Director of Developer Relations at Ampere Computing. Cloud native computing is a popular approach to building and running applications that leverage the power of the cloud. A cloud native application is typically made up of many components called microservices that communicate with each other using APIs or a message bus. In this tutorial, we will explore what cloud native computing means and why we call Ampere Ultra the world's first cloud native processor. Ampere processors are designed from the ground up to meet the requirements of modern cloud workloads, making them ideal for cloud native computing. Our processors offer very high core density with 80 cores per socket for the Ampere Ultra and 128 cores per socket for the Ampere Ultra Max. Ampere cores have a large private L1 and L2 memory cache, which offers high performance for memory intensive workloads. And they're single threaded, which means that application performance scales well under load. You also avoid any noisy neighbor issues because your workloads always get entire cores. Applications have increasingly moved to microservice architectures running in containers on the cloud. Delivering more cores with good workload isolation makes the Ampere Ultra processor family an ideal match for cloud native applications. For our demo today, we're going to show you how you can scale a simple web log running on WordPress to become more cloud native. We first move the application to containers and add a proxy server as a gateway to the application, which allows us to evolve the application architecture without impacting the user experience. We will then show how easy it is to use Nginx as a load balancer to spread load across multiple application components. And finally, we accelerate the performance of our application by adding various caching mechanisms. The first change we make to our application architecture is to add an Nginx proxy server as the main entry point to our application and pass traffic for WordPress through to a separate application node. A proxy server sits in front of your application and can be configured to pass traffic to specific nodes behind it. It can also act as a reverse proxy cache, keeping copies of static files in cache on the proxy node and resulting in a reduction of internal network traffic when clients request those files. Another core functionality for Nginx is the ability to load balance application traffic across multiple nodes. To do this, we define an upstream server group of multiple application servers and define a policy for how traffic will be distributed across these nodes. Nginx supports multiple load balancing algorithms. For example, cycling through the server group, sending traffic randomly among the nodes, or choosing the server which is experiencing the lowest load. After configuring Nginx and starting multiple WordPress instances, we can now see in the application logs that traffic is being distributed across our application nodes. Load balancing for compute intensive applications can make a huge difference to application scaling because it allows you to use more compute resources by simply adding more copies of your application server. We will now turbocharge the performance of our application by enabling caching. First, we add a Redis in-memory object cache to our application and configure our WordPress nodes to connect to it as a PHP object cache. This saves computed application objects like pages and users and returns a cached copy when the same object needs to be built in the future. This will reduce load on our database layer and also reduce CPU load by doing less work to build objects every time they're requested. As a blog engine, most of the traffic to WordPress can be expected to come from people who do not have accounts on the WordPress instance. These visitors all receive exactly the same pages as everyone else. This gives us a very straightforward way to reduce application load and scale performance by saving fully rendered pages and sending these back to requesters without doing any work on our application server. To do this, we install the WP SuperCache plugin. With these few simple modifications to our application, we can now scale to handle many times more traffic. Once we have architected our application to run in several containers, our next step is to enable it to run on clusters of hosts. We can do this by using a hosted Kubernetes service like AKS on Azure. While managing a multi-container application on a single host is straightforward with a tool like Docker Compose, moving to Kubernetes will require several changes to the orchestration and definition of our application. Among these changes, we use Kubernetes YAML description files for services 
and can use hosted storage services like Azure Files, Azure Disk Storage, or Azure Blob Storage to store our application artifacts like uploaded files or database files. Once we make these straightforward changes, we now have the ability to scale our application on demand. Cloud native computing is transforming the way we build and run applications in the cloud, with Ampere processors providing a foundation that will help you optimize the cost and performance of your cloud applications, you can use common application scaling techniques like proxy servers, API gateways, load balancing, and caching to create highly scalable and reliable cloud-native applications. <laughs>